hey guys welcome back to my channel today's video is going to be a six month review on my louis vuitton monogram loop bag so if you want to see what i have to say about this bag and how it's been holding up keep watching okay first and foremost i'm going to show you guys the bag that i'm talking about if you guys have if you guys have never seen a loop bag this is the bag that i am talking about it is a very very beautiful bag Here's the bag with the strap and the chain attached. Now, now this bag can be worn as a shoulder bag like this, or you can extend it by, um, by unbuttoning this area and elongating it to make it a crossbody bag. So it's like virtually a three-in-one bag, which I absolutely love about this bag. Um, I'm just going to go ahead and get into some of the things that you guys might want to know about this bag. And the first thing is the price. I purchased my bag on March 11th, 2023. So it was $23.70, which it is still the same price on Louis Vuitton. So within the last six months, they have not had a price increase on this particular bag. But right before I got it, like days before I got it, maybe even a week, it increased in price. And um, after taxes, I ended up paying $2,545.35. Okay, and um, I did not have an unboxing on my channel, but I did have an unboxing on Instagram, which I told you guys about. I did a lot of my unboxings over there. So if you want to go see my unboxing for this bag, you can head over to my um, style with Lux channel on Instagram. When I got this bag, I actually ordered it three times. The first two times I was not happy with the quality and how the bag came. This was my third bag and I was happy with it. So I decided to keep this one and not get on Louis Vuitton nerves and <laughs> send them back another bag I didn't like. But I'm just going to say, if you don't like something that they're sending you, any of these companies, feel free to just send it back. I don't think they'll blacklist you. I don't know. Now, having this item for six months, I haven't worn it that much. Um, I do have other bags, and sometimes I just don't carry my bags at all. So, within that time, I, I see no difference in the hardware. The hardware is still really shiny gold. There are no visible scratches that I can see. So, it's pretty good. I guess it's pretty good hardware they use on this bag. Um, to me, the patina looked a little bit lighter when I got it. I don't know if it's darkened. It's not supposed to darken because it's pre-treated leather, which is why I went for the bag. I've only had one other monogram, I think one or two other monogram bags and they've been the light vachetta that was not, um, they've, been, they've only been the other vachetta that was not treated and those didn't work out for me. So I've parted with those bags. I decided to purchase this one because it was already treated and um, that's what I need in my life. So I don't think it has patina, but in certain lights, I can say that it does look darker. So maybe it's just a play on where you are with it. And I noticed that there aren't any water spots or other staining on the um, Vachetta leather. And I have gotten caught in a little drizzle with this bag and it's fine. Okay, and I did want to just go back to the strap. With the strap, if you guys um, are like a petite person, meaning in size, you probably can get away with wearing this all three types of ways. Shoulder bag, crossbody, and with this. You can do a shoulder bag too with this if you want, or just handheld. So that's four ways, I'm sorry. But um, being like, if you're on the plus side, you might not find this as a good crossbody bag for you. You'll definitely be able to wear it as a shoulder bag and the other two ways and shoulder bag, but crossbody might be a little difficult if you're on the plus side. Um, Another thing that I wanted to mention is I did get this bag because it's not too popular at the moment. I know within the last few years that when, when it was released, it actually picked up a lot of attraction. 
especially with YouTube, I mean, especially with TikTok and um, Instagram. But right now, like in my city, I haven't been out and seen anybody with this bag. So to me, it's not as, um, not a very popular bag, you know? And also I feel that the bag is a good cross between a, a classy and a trendy bag. So if that's your, if that's your vibe, classy, trendy, I think you would really love this bag. This can pretty much pair with anything. If you're an earth tone girl, it's probably going to go with what you want to wear. But um, yeah, I do want to just show you guys what I carry in it or what fits in it. I kind of have it stuffed right now just to show you guys uh, what you can expect to fit in. Usually on a normal day, if I'm going to use this bag, um, this much stuff does not fit in this bag. So it's some trickery going on with this bag um, because I fit all this stuff in here and it's still not um, giving me like a wonky look. And what I mean by wonky is when <laughs> I call it wonky when the leather just curls up because something doesn't fit or you're trying to overstuff it this it looks absolutely perfect and this bag is it's pretty much full of what i would carry with it and probably even a little bit more i wouldn't carry all this stuff in this bag and the only thing not in here is my phone but this is the inside this is what i was able to fit in there and i think like i said i, I feel like you could probably fit more stuff in here i'm not gonna lie if you own some of these things and like to carry them this might be helpful to you but I have a tie to go pin. I have my wallet or my card holder. I have gum. Um, I have a perfume and a lip gloss. Another lipstick. Um, lip gloss or lip oil. I have this bulky hand sanitizer have another lip gloss I have my another coin holder my clay a lip gloss and a lipstick and that was all I put in there and like I said my phone would usually go in there too and this is the inside because I wasn't able to show you because everything was in there it has a nice like dark beige lining I don't know if it's suede it looks suede though, but uh, it could be microfiber lining. I'm not sure. And this has second pocket in here. I just keep the little um, cards that they give you. It's also microfiber suede lined. And I didn't know, I don't know if I showed you the cute detail of the LV, which is so cute and goes so nicely with the chain. Hey guys that was basically my short six month review on this bag um, overall i'm loving this bag um it's proven to be pretty much durable at this point i don't know how it'll fare over a year or two years um i might just make it my duty to come back and tell you guys how it's held up within the next two years or a year or whatnot but um it's a pretty cool bag um like I said, it does match me. I feel like it matches my vibe a lot. So if you also are interested in this bag or if you have this bag, comment down below and let me know how you are liking your bag. And um, if you want to know anything more about the bag that I did not mention, you can um, just write me below and I'll answer back. I also have the Louis Vuitton link in my bio. I checked yesterday. This bag is in stock. Um, at one point, it was not in stock. But it is now, so if you want to get this bag, it's there. Um, yeah, and don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe to my video. And I'll see you guys in the next one. Bye.